everyone welcome back to another video today i thought i would sit in a new portion of the house that you haven't yet seen um it might be a little bit echoey because we haven't put too much furniture in the side of the house it's still coming so i apologize if the sound is not at its perfect quality um but i hope that you'll bear with me so the purpose of this video is that i have realized that it's ryan and i's first wedding anniversary next month which makes me really happy but really sad too because i'm still sitting under the wedding cloud and i just love the entire process of being engaged to planning a wedding to having everybody um you know support you on this journey towards becoming a bride and um you know encouraging you along your way into this new marriage and i just think it's so special the whole process is so special if I can recommend one book about like the different thoughts on the different ideas of marriage, it would be uh, Elizabeth Gilbert's book, it's called Committed. And it just expands on what marriage is, why it's important to some people, why it's important in different kind of cultures, areas of the world and whatnot. And, and to me, that's just fascinating, but I just find the whole thing so beautiful. Anyway, so that aside, um, I was feeling a little bit nostalgic for my wedding dress because I've told Ryan many, many times I want to wear my wedding dress again. <laughs> and um, chances are the opportunity to wear your wedding dress again are probably close to zero. Though I do have a story about that. So keep watching because I have a story that you might find very interesting. Um, so today I thought it might be very interesting to go on a journey down a timeline and have a look at the wedding dresses in my family because I have my grand's wedding dress and I have my mum's wedding dress and I don't even think I'd ever seen my grand's wedding dress so I knew I had it and so I pulled it out and I've done a little try on of all these wedding dresses so I hope that you enjoy. I'm going to be starting off with my grand's dress since it's the first if we go in time chronologically. So um, my grand got married in 1950 or thereabouts, she got married in the 1950s. When I tried on her dress, which you'll see in the clips now, I was so taken away by the fact that her dress to me is just timeless, absolutely beautiful. I put it on and I showed Ryan and he said it actually suits you, uh, which was lovely. And it's just so beautiful because if you know anything about me, lace and a lace collar, I mean, clearly, um, it's everything to me. I think it's so beautiful. I don't think you can get anything more beautiful than lace and playing with the different styles. Um, that you can wear lace. So my grand's wedding dress had this beautiful silk, you would call it a petticoat, well it's the dress under, I guess you call it a petticoat, but a beautiful silk with a lace detail on the top of it and then it had this gorgeous seams down the side. So, so beautifully made and I was a little bit taken aback by the fact that it fit me like a glove. So there's obviously something along the lines of genetic that have um, you know, come from my gran because clearly we're the, the exact same size. And um, the only thing that I did notice is that I struggled quite a bit getting the um, dress over my arms. And over time, I, I mean, when I was younger, I used to be like a quite concerned that I had stick arms. So, you know, now I do yoga and I do um, things to try and strengthen my upper body. Um, I wouldn't say I'm um, <laughs> particularly built up, but I do try. So it makes me wonder, uh, you know, if I hadn't been doing that, would my grand and I have been exactly the same size? And chances are probably yes. And it's also funny because I remember my grand telling me that when she was having her dress made, the dressmaker said to her, should she put bra cups in the dress, you know, just to give her a little bit more of a chest because she was completely fat chested. And she said no. And uh, when I was trying on her dress, I had a bra on and the words just came back in my mind and I thought, oh, the reason that I'm struggling with the chest bits here is because you've got to take your bra off and then it fits perfectly, which was the truth. But um, I kept my bra on just so you know <laughs> in, that, um, in that clip. And then the sleeves are so beautiful. I love a lace sleeve. I know it's probably the most traditional thing. Most people are probably so bored of it, but 
Oh, the beautiful pointed ending on the lace sleeve with the gold buttons up the side which match um, the center of the bodice. Oh, just beautiful. And then along the waistline there was this unbelievable, beautifully piped um, waistline which also ended in a triangular shape around the navel which kind of um, brought in the fact that there was that uh, pointed edge on the hands and then the pointed edge on the waist which oh, I honestly think that dress is so timeless and I'd be perfectly happy wearing it to another function whatsoever call me crazy but I'm in love with this so I'm so grateful that I've got this dress archive going on here because um, I can only pray that I have a daughter in the future and that she can appreciate all these dresses with me and Something that I think is also worth mentioning at this point is the fact that all the dresses are interlinked. So if you haven't watched my making my wedding dress video, I'll link it. Go and take a look because then you'll know how exactly all these dresses are linked because there's a bit of each dress in my dress, which is so special. So, so, so special and it still makes me oh, so emotional. It, uh, it really, really warms my heart. Anyway, I think that dress is absolutely timeless. I'm wearing very high heels. Well, I'm actually wearing my wedding shoes in the cutaways. Um, so you can see that the dress is quite a bit off the ground, but my grand would never ever have worn such high shoes. She would have worn, you know, a little bit of a heel, um, tiny, tiny appropriate for the time. And also, um, and then I think it would have been more accurate to like ground level and I think my grand and I were the exact same height so um yeah there was that to it so I thought it was just stunning both the petticoats and the actual dress itself um just gorgeous I loved her choice in dress so then my parents got married in 1984 and my mom had a beautiful beautiful gown for her wedding dress which I have to add, she made herself. So that is very impressive in and of itself. And I simply adore this dress. I think it's so beautiful in the fact that it was an 80s dress. So it could be very dated or very strongly 80s. But I actually don't think it is. I think that the high coloring with uh, the little bit of a frill and the v-neck which i found surprising i didn't remember it being a v-neck dress which mine was actually a v-neck dress so i thought that was quite interesting but i think that v-neck and then that flowing overlay of um lace over her dress was beautiful in that um a v shape over the bust and it was on the front and the back which is just beautiful and then it had a, a very slim waist which again i was surprised by the fact that that waist my grand's waist and my waist were clearly exactly the same size because it honestly looked like it fit like a glove and that was so surprising because my mom was six foot now i'm five foot seven um, so I'm pretty average in height. My mom was very tall, but that dress looked like it fit me completely perfectly. So that was um, quite interesting. Perhaps she didn't, again, wear shoes as high as I did, but um, the dress itself, in terms of proportion, fit perfectly. So I thought that was quite lovely, and, um, and there's also a little bit of the waist detail that you don't see in these clips because that waist detail went into my dress so when i say that all three dresses were combined for my wedding there's a bit of each dress in my dress um the but that's missing off her dress is the sash on the waist so if you'd like to find out where that is do go and watch that making of my wedding dress video and you can take a look over there so then there's also a dirty mark on my mom's dress which you may have noticed and I think that is a story um, just entirely on its own because I mentioned at the beginning of the video that you probably never wear your wedding dress again right? Well my mom decided to break that rule. At her 40th birthday party she decided 
that the dress she was wearing for her party was going to be her wedding dress. Now, I think the reason that she wore the dress was because of boasting rights that after two children and turning 40, she was exactly the same size that she was on her wedding day, which is very, very impressive. And I hope that I can follow suit, but no pressure. <laughs> um, I would love to wear my wedding dress again. That's no secret. So if I can wear my dress on my 40th birthday, I'd be more than happy to. So while my mom's dress was an 80s dress, I think uh, it kind of stand, stands the test of time in the fact that it's not completely dated. It does look like something that could be potentially Victorian. I think it could quite easily pass off as something Victorian. It gives me all the Bridgerton vibes. So uh, I don't know, um, perhaps even earlier than a Victorian era, but it's just beautiful and I'm so happy that I've got it in our dress archives. I think it is really, really special. So then moving on from my mum's dress to now my dress, the third in um, the trilogy, I guess we'll call it that. Um, and so my dress, um, as I mentioned, I have the whole story um, documented, which I love. It really makes me so happy that I did that and um, my dress I put it on for purposes of this video and I can tell you quite honestly that it delighted me as much putting it on today as it did the day that it was ready. I just looked in the mirror and I thought yes this is this is the wedding dress that I dreamed of. So putting the dress on today delighted me just as much as it did putting it on on my wedding day and um, I threw all, I'm trying on all three dresses which I have to say is quite um, an exercise putting on three wedding dresses and um, this mine it happens to be the heaviest of the lot but I also think it's because mine's the one with beading so it, it, there's more weight to it. There's also a little bit more to my wedding dress because it's got a train. The other two dresses surprisingly didn't have a train. You know, they ended at um, the floor level and there was nothing dragging on the ground. Um, so yeah, mine had a bit of that and that was a little bit problematic on the wedding day because it did rain on our wedding day and my dress did get wet and it became heavier than it is. Um, so there was a little bit of a challenge in that and also that having beading close to the floor is um, quite scary when you step on it because you lose your ground very easily um, but luckily you know I would just end up having like jolts where um, I could feel that I stepped on the bead and kind of like sliding out but my dress I love I absolutely love it the veil I loved the veil was very very simple it was exactly what I wanted you know nothing embroidered or anything on the veil it was simply the tool and loved it Mine was v-neck, very similar to my mom's, except mine was probably much more dramatic. I thought it was interesting that all three dresses were sleeved dresses, which I also don't think I'd realised until I'd put them all on or seen them all side by side. We had all gone for sleeves and, you know, quite a, a slim kind of a fit of a dress. We hadn't gone too... Um, outward or too much fabric uh, flaring outward. So I hope that you enjoyed having a look down this memory lane. I hope you've enjoyed having a look at the different styles of the dresses that the three ladies in my family, including myself, uh, chose to wear on their wedding day. And I hope this is just a, a feel-good kind of video for you. Um, it's, uh, I thought it was something quite nice to document and to consolidate. So it's nice to have a look at family things I think and it's been really nice having a look at the time period that the ladies have got married and um, to see the wedding pictures as well has also been so lovely and just to see people at their happiest of happy moments it's very very special so I hope you enjoyed this let me know if you did and um, if you have enjoyed this video please leave me the little bride emoji down in the comment section below i'd really appreciate that and i'll see you in my next video bye